What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Art Attack. Um, my name is Air One. I'm the captain of this ship, and today we're joined by my good friend, Dai. Um, this is a show where we talk about art and we highlight artists because um, we have a pretty good community of artists here in LA and Long Beach area. So, um, what's up, Dai? How are you doing today, man? What's up? So, my name is Dai, Dai Hasegawa. Um, I go by Monkey Monk. His Instagram handle's right there. <laughs> nah. Yeah, so we've been like good friends for a couple years now, maybe four years. Yeah, how did I meet you, Dai? Uh, it was, so I was gonna ask, what, what year? 2017, I guess? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. yeah well, anyway, kind of long time ago, so we met through uh, our friends and then we did the, uh, that was my first, sh not the show, not a even, um, not an even show, we just, um, uh, pop up, we did a pop up Galilee on the street in front of a friend's house. That was, you just, you just put it off the mic no, or no, the, or the, the, the speaker. speaker. Yeah. So yeah, we had those like, like pop up Galilee, like super no, street. But how did I meet you though? How did I meet you? Well, that's, that's, that's how I met, how I met, right? The first, uh, street Galilee. But we had like a couple, couple of like conversation before though. But that was. I think I made it to Anthony. Yeah, like one the before, but we just had a little conversation, small conversation that day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And then we did um, um, pop up mushroom. Yeah. DIY. DIY. Art show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, on the street. Yeah, on the street. Someone's. House. I remember I that. Right. Oh, you almost forgot. That's right. Dai brought his um his ten by is it ten by ten tent? Do you have? Yeah. Yeah. He brought his ten by ten tent. And um, we put a bunch of artwork right there. That shit was pretty cool. Um, so mm -hmm. um, uh, you're not from you're not from America. Yeah, I'm from uh, Japan originally, but mm -hmm. I'm living here for ten years. Ten years. Um, and why did you move here? Uh, well, so I was looking for some fresh, like some change, because I used to do a b boy when I was young, like sixteen. Like I was so into the b boy break dance, and then I lost. When I was like 19, I had a, like my direction. I, I, I kind of lost. You but I, okay, you, you lost your direction when you were 19 uh -huh. in Japan. Mm -hmm. So it's good to refresh my mind, you know? Like I was always looking for some new, fresh stuff to find uh, what I really want in my life. Okay, okay, okay. So you just wanted to start something new? Yeah. So you moved to America because you know Japan's old for you back then. Oh yeah, <laughs> you need to change of environment, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how how did you get here? By plane. By plane. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, I started from the ESL class. Mm -hmm. When I came here, I had a zero English. That so English was a least favorite. My least favorite. I always slept. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't learn any. You pay attention to yeah, English no, class. at all. But now I appre appreciate. I like it. I like English. You know. You see, a lot of people know how to speak it, right? It's like a, it's like a, a bridge language. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like pa paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. Most paperwork mm -hmm. is like English and mm -hmm. stuff, right? So, all right. So now that you've been here ten years, um, I remember when I first met you. You were doing. Um, oh, first of all, what were you doing in Japan? Because I know you do tattoos. So was that what you were doing in Japan before you came here? Oh no no, I was uh, I was straight. So I did. So I went to school right after school, high school. I started working for my dad's company, small like private company for the mm -hmm. construction. Mm -hmm. So all my life until twenty three, I did construction work. Okay, so you're working. So you were working construction until you're twenty three. Mm -hmm. um, and then how did the art come about? Art was always there actually. So since I was a kid, I always loved to, you know, paint and you know, draw. At some point of my life, you know, and then I started to break dance. I I liked it. I realized I like more using my body, you know, like sport athletic. Yeah. So I lo I, I forgot about it. And at like turning point, like seven, uh, 27, mm -hmm. what I actually want to do, what I love, think back it's always art so why not just try it and then I tried I, I, I made a one picture 
mm-hmm. like realistic car mm-hmm. drawing, and everybody's like, "Wow, die! You so, should so follow you your." So you didn't have any art training. Do you have any no. art training? And then you just then one day decided you're gonna draw a car. Yeah, self thought. And then you do the car. Yeah, and then yeah, the uh, uh, the the everyone actually the the friends that helped me. You know, like you know, um, back up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, and then I so, so your friends like supported you, your art yeah, too. So they really helped. See, that's, that that's really cool, man. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? There's a lot of that's something that um is missing from a lot of communities is that that support. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? A lot of people here like to get competitive. Mm, you know right. what I'm saying? I feel I feel that energy in LA actually. Yeah. 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 It's always competition out mm-hmm. here. Like, and I always say, people, you know, I mean, yeah. you shouldn't feel that way because my win isn't your loss. Mm. Just because I'm winning doesn't mean you're losing. Mm, right. You know what I mean? Just because you're winning doesn't. There's no such thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's subjective, man. We all live our own lives. Actually, you told me that. So that was my uh, role artist art show back in like last year. Yeah. I was kind of a little bit um, uh, stressed, stressed out, mm-hmm. and you told me there's no competition, bro. Just be you. Yeah. And then yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I always like were like I always it's an enigma to me what an art battle competition is I don't understand it like I get graffiti battles like that's how I came up you know what I mean like shout out to WAI Flex Yoshi you know? um, it's see that's territory mm. burners it's like a game oh, yeah, right. you know mm. what I mean it's like a game for us yeah that's so, culture yeah. so so that's that makes sense that that, 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 that come around, the competition there makes sense you know what I mean mm-hmm. but the competition in painting to me, doesn't make sense at all. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you compare Basquiat to a Mane? Like, yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? It's subjective. That's, so, who decides who right? wins? And like, every, how is that a winner? Like, everyone has dude? different perspe- perspective. <laughs> I <don't> get it. <laughs> I understand it. Uh huh. Yeah. So totally yeah. that art battle stuff. Like, I don't know. Oh, they they send me invite. I'm like, I don't know about that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's totally right. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So now that um in America. I said you were doing that in Japan. You were like drawing cars and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. By the time you came to America, how old were you? Twenty-three. You're twenty-three. So from seventeen to twenty-three, you were just drawing, drawing, drawing. Oh drawing. no, b-boy breakdance. I was paint uh, drawing when I was kid. We were a kid. Yeah. And then, like I said, stopped. now, now, and then you stopped, and then we picked it back up again. Yeah, around like twenty-five, six or seven. So do we, oh, okay, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. And were you were in America already yeah. when you picked yeah. it back up? Yeah. Okay. Because I was, and then I started walking, and I started back in like normal life again, and I realized this is not the way I came America. I should follow my dream. Yeah. And then I met you to start like DIY art right, show. Right. Right. Where I'm not right right now. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot of shows. Yeah, that's a big success. Not a big success. It's okay. Hey, it's step a long by way. step. It's a long, long way, way. where you started. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long way from where you started. Um, so yeah, okay. So you, you you come to America, and then um, you started drawing again. I know, but you know, I know you do tattoos. How did tattooing came about? I mean, I don't really want to talk about that tattooing because well, I thought so. I, w- I always wanted the art be my career, and then I thought easy way is it's just easy way. Or and then I always thought tattoo is cool. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to be tattoo artist, mm-hmm. and then I tried it, and then I realized, oh, well, this is not really, really I want to be. If if I ask, do you want to be tattoo artist or do you want to be just canvas oil painter? I will pick oil painter, so I just pick the oil right. painter. Right, it's not the avenue that. for you, yeah. even though you can do it. Mm-hmm. Um, so now you're 26, 27, 28. You're here, and then you know you got back into. Remember when um, when I first met you, your your art pieces was you know <laughs> all, all over, over the place. place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it doesn't mean like it's bad because they were all good. They were all amazing. You know what I mean? They had this, they had this like small hand drawn things and he had these big ones and they're all so intricate you know what i mean but all different kinds mm-hmm. um how has you how has your art changed since uh well i'm still consider myself i'm still looking for my particular style i still think i still find the, like that you know mm-hmm. one but it's getting together now because uh, so usually, uh, used to be, 
I just enjoy, of course. So I just restarted again my uh, art career. I just enjoyed whatever, and then I just join a painting to impress people. But at some point, if people get uh, inspired by my my painting, uh, so I why don't I use that uh, media to educate the people or? Like you know, have a more meaning meaning to to the art. Mm -hmm. Let's say, um, usually my concepts are like love, sharing love, yeah. self improvement, yeah, and some issue all over the world, like wars, like you know, right. like people are dying and stuff. Right. So, so yeah. So, so now that, that so your art now is trying to get more direction. So you gave your art. So since then you were all over the place. Now your art has direction. Mm -hmm. You applied direction to it. You wanted to. Like, Use it for something. Something like, like better world, like better. Yeah. You, so your yeah. art had purpose. Yeah. You just didn't want to start like just making art. Now you're making art with a purpose. Yeah. And and um okay, let's talk about um what else? How else has your art changed? How else my art changed? But still, in, I, my art is in journey. It's evolving still, huh? Constantly. Mm -hmm. What changed? Well, I I'm. I'm trying like all the media. I just started like the the spray too, and the right, graffiti too. Right, right. Oh, and then the mural thing is a new new thing. Mm. I've never really done like mural, and I jumped up to the uh, one of my uh, friends asked me to join her mural, which is Nike East mm -hmm. LA. Okay. That like hundred or two hundred feet long and a thirty wow. feet tall. Wow. And we did it in five days. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. What? Um, where can we find that? Is there? Is there on any street? And what? What streets in LA? Uh, so it's it's on the Whittier. In Whittier, off. Is it still, it's still up right now, right? Yeah, it's pretty close to Seven Ten Whittier, and yeah, you just Google the big Nike factory. It's okay, so, so Nike it's a store. Nike factory in Whittier. Yeah. So um yeah, so you check out this piece right there on Whittier Boulevard. You can Google it. I don't have yeah. the address, but you guys can Google it. It's the Nike factory in um in Whittier. Um so that it's been a, a a long journey, huh? Yeah, it's been a long Something journey. About and three years. About three years, like I said. Um when we first when me and I first met. Like four, four um, years. I, we met through a mutual friend mm -hmm. and you know and I was like, Yeah, I'm trying to get back in my art, like what do I do? At that time I was already doing a lot of shows at the Red Room. But, you know, and I was like, okay, maybe we, it was actually Anthony's idea to yeah. have like, oh, maybe we can do a garage stuff, like, you know, right <laughs> yeah. on the side of the street. So we were like, okay, let's try to do it. You know what I mean? Why not? And we put our artwork right there in the street. We hung out. We didn't really make any sales at all. At all. At all. <laughs> no sales. I spent actually a little bit on beer. That's it. <laughs> it, costed you, it costed you money. No, no profit. But, yeah, but since then... Um, I've tried taking Dai with me because me, you, you know, I'm, I'm all about exposure. Yeah, yeah. And I try to expose my stuff and give my stuff as much direction as I can, you know. Um, and what I love about you, Dai, is that when you ask me for help and, you know, to get, all, to, you know, to, to develop it, right, mm -hmm. is that you actually paid attention to what mm -hmm. I was saying and you actually applied them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that was pretty cool, man, because it's, it's, it's it's so hard to find people mm -hmm. like that you know what i mean because most of them like i said this comp competitive state that we're in you yeah. know what i mean it's it like it really i don't know it's limits just limits you me as that it's just natural to me yeah like volunteer just willingness because he invited the show if he didn't ask me i didn't have i don't i can't have a show because right. why don't I then why don't I help him 100% like you know do my yeah. best he's doing my, doing his best to me I of course you have to give it back you know yeah yeah, yeah 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 and, and that's what it's about like if you're just wondering like how come these people like you know they're getting th stuff done anybody if you ever see anybody getting stuff done it's because they're in that environment where mm -hmm. they're watching each other's back they're doing stuff yeah. for each other they're, they're more concerned mm -hmm. about what they could give than what they could take you know what I mean? Because yeah. sometimes it's difficult when you live in a world of takers, right? It's like if you're a giver and you take yeah. it, you'll juice it. But I think I think go. that that I think that has a limit. Like let's yeah. say that's the ego. Ego has a limit. Right. But by doing like we are doing with the love, 
has no limit. Yeah, it doesn't know? have a limit. Dude. You can work with anybody nah, we flag. want to, man. Flag. Yeah, we can pretty much like, <laughs> conquer. Hey, we can do everything we want just because it's powerful. Yeah, it is powerful. Like, <laughs> that, e- that one. Yeah. Only one person's ego. Love is like sharing. Yeah. Has more power. Yeah, it's it a lot of stop. people in there. Yeah, it's it a can lot involve, of people. You know? Yeah, it, it it allows people to band together. It's like a mm-hmm. yeah. Team, yeah. team. It's like a team. It's always a team effort, man. Like. Like even tonight, like I'm I'm recording this by myself right now, just because you know my team is not here. Of course, they have work tomorrow and, and all that stuff. Um, they, but they give me as much time as they can, you know. But all the lights set up here, everything here, I couldn't have done it without my team. Shout out to Bino the Bull, Mike Parks, and Lorena. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for uh, always helping out. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I was in a. I went to your art show. A couple of yeah, uh, the last one. A couple of days ago or weeks ago. Yeah, right? two, three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, we have a we have a clip of that. Oh yeah, I haven't <laughs> checked that out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a clip of that. Um, here, I'm gonna show you. Um, you guys can watch the clip. Um, we'll be back in a minute. Um, enjoy it. So uh, where are we at, Dai? We're at the Pattern Bar in downtown LA. Um. This is a band called Soul 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 Source. I don't know my pronunciation. S O U L S O U R S C E. Something like that. Soul Source. Soul Source. What are we doing here tonight? Um. So this, I'm showcasing my art, and also I'm live painting. Yeah. So I don't know if uh, where you're gonna put up this video. So check out his channel, or I'm gonna post it on my channel too. Do you want to see my live painting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do we get in here? How did you get this gig? Uh, well, so this uh, Eric and Carlos. I've known them for like long time. Like I'm a b-boy break dancer, my roots, and they're like house dancer and the DJs. So we always hang out, and they've been throwing this uh, amazing event for every ter- second or third, I think it's third Sunday, and it's always cracking. It's a pretty nice event, you guys should come and check it out. What's the place called? Pattern Bar. Pat- Pattern. Pattern Bar. We're in LA, aren't we? Huh? So we're in LA, right? Yeah, downtown LA. Like This is like middle of downtown LA. See. Flag, flag, let's get Any, flag. Anything you want to tell the people? Uh, well, also the, for this, I started the new series called The One Strong. You live your life just once. You never know how it's going to end. That might be tomorrow, might never end. Your conscience goes out, never, never die. Or, so, my point is, just make a lot of mistakes, doesn't matter. My line is not perfect, but somehow at the end, it becomes beautiful. So, just try your life, you know, try to live, survive, give it a shot. Peace. Safe. <laughs> can, where can people find you? Uh, anywhere. Find you on Instagram at? When you meditate, you see me. <laughs> find you at Instagram? Yeah, yeah, Instagram. At? At Monkey Monk Art. Monkey Monk Art. So my website is Monkey Monk Art. And my email is Monkey Monk Art email. And Instagram, Monkey Monk Art. So it's Monkey Monk. Just type it in Monkey Monk and pop it up. Monkey Monk. There we go. Thank you, Dad.
hard though. How was that, dude? That was a good vibe. And I finished, I just finished a live painting, one stroke with O. Owl. The owl? Owl. With the owl? Yeah, that was fun. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. It's a lot of dancing in there. Oh, yeah. So basically, those are, they, they have a, like open house. They're like, all, mo most of them is an open house family. They're like a lot of like different kind of dancers, like hip hop, break dance, and house. That's, uh, that's our connection. Shout out to? Shout out to Soul Source. Soul Source. An open house family. Black United, yeah, okay. Shout, shout, shout out to Flag, Black United. There we go. Catch Dai in the show. We're gonna do an interview on him pretty soon. Say peace out, Dai. Yeah, peace out. See you soon. Namaste. All right, and we're back. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that clip. That was pretty cool. Um, tell me what that event was about, man. Who threw that event and who was who were there? Uh, was, who were those people dancing in that event, man? So that's through my friend. Uh, most of them are from Open House family. Mm -hmm. They have big organization like dance house dancer mm -hmm. community. So I'm break break dancer, and then that's the connection. And okay. big dance like ballroom stuff. Hmm. They dance like ballroom stuff. It was a ballroom, like old dances, like salsa and. Mm, no, yeah, they do, but they do you no know, more new style, new style hustle, house dance, break dance, rock, the log, pop, yeah, those kind of stuff. Ah, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's like old school mixed with new school. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I had a fun. I had a pretty fun time over there, man. Like they some have unique uh, people. every month, uh, third Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's always popping. If you like, if you guys like like old funk, kind of little bit of hip hop, break beats, and then house. Yeah, shout out to Open House Family. Um, and that so, is, then that event goes Soul, Soul, Soul Source. Yeah, Soul yeah. Source, right? Sunday, yeah. And then uh, Mr. Chalk, right? Mr. Chalk. Mr. Chalk. Yeah, shout out Mr. Chalk. Beat Junkies, man. DJ Space, my DJ. He's uh, enrolled at the Beat Junkies University. Oh, yeah? Sure, dude. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Nice. So, Mr. Chalk is Dope. professor. Dope. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, all right, man. So, what's new for Dai and what's up ahead, bro? Uh, so, the new, actually, you guys watched uh, the clip. That's for, that's my new stuff. I started a new series mm -hmm. called uh, One Stroke. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, tell me about One Stroke. What is One Stroke all about? Yeah, the idea about the One Stroke that is. I was just doodling, you know, and that those are from my old old style, like some 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 like kind of couple, five years ago. Mm -hmm. And I came up, oh, I think I should do this. I found actually meaning out of, of this. Uh, life is life is like one stroke. You never have two. You, you can need to go you, back. You can you cannot go back, or you, you can, can go over. Yeah, go mm -hmm. over. So that's the that's the that's a rule. Don't go over, mm -hmm. and it can't go back. No redo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but you can take a pause once in a while. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's life. That's life too. That's life. You yeah, take, take breaks. Mm -hmm. right? Take a break too. Breaks there. Yeah. So give it give it a shot. Right. Right. So Don't all know. these pieces are all done with the fillings are all done with one stroke. Yeah, one right? stroke, and then that's it captured cool. the the moment, the present. Goes. Yeah, we're showing here. I'm gonna show you some pictures yeah. right now. See that. Pictures. <laughs> yeah, we found some pictures. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so where um, where can people get your new artwork? Uh, or so find it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm I'm having a show in April. Three show in April, which is, one is in San Diego, Connect San Diego. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe that's the third week of April, and the one. At, I just forgot, so can you put the telop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so we're gonna put all the Dai yeah. shows uh, on the links <laughs> right down there. Because he, I, I, I understand though, it's good. Cause, uh, it's good that you can't remember, you have so much things to do that you mm -hmm. can remember some of them in detail, you know what I mean? It's, it's better, yeah. it, it, it's a good thing. And then, of course, stuff. always Instagram, and I have a yeah. website. Okay, so Dai's Instagram yeah. is right there too, Dai's website is right there too. Click the link in the, in the comment section and stuff. 
Well, this was pretty fun, Dai. Yeah. I hope I have you back in the show, man. Yeah, man, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, to see the journey of your career from like yeah. said, where we started three years ago to where it is now and how um, many shows you're doing now. Yeah. You're doing murals, you're yeah. doing big stuff. There's a lot of progression, and then, man. Every time he asks... Very proud of you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> every time he asks me his show at his show, yo, Dai, you have to speak. No, I don't like speak. I don't like speech. But he pushed me. No, you have to. That yeah. actually helped me. Yeah. Right now, you know. Yeah. I'm more confident. Man, to me, you know, that 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 to me is what it's about. The reason I helped you when you asked me three years ago is that I can see this moment right now where you're like doing great. Because <laughs> that means that damn, if that's doing great, I did something great. You know what I mean? And no money could actually buy that kind of feeling. Yep. When you do something good for somebody else, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be really like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this, it's just like inside you, that, that's all that matters. Like, damn, I mattered. I made a difference. In one person's life, I made a difference. You know what I mean? And that feeling right there is addictive die. Nice. <laughs> it's addictive die. Once you do it for one person, you're gonna do it for another person, and another person, and another person. And that's what flack is about, dude. Mm. You, know, you know what I mean? It's like, that's loving kindness, dude. Yeah. And the only way that for me to get my fix, mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's like an addiction, it's like a drug. Yeah, in order yeah. for me to get my fix, is to actually help somebody out. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to get you know out of here. Because when they, they get you. good, then they get good, and I'm like, oh man, that's two. Mm. <laughs> that's two that I changed right there. And then three, four, and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, um, you've been, one of the coolest people I've known and one of the people that I knew who progressed in art so fast, dude. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Super quick. And um, like I said, I'm really proud of you. Thank you for being my Thank guest. Thank you, man. And um, until next time, we'll see you again. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Please link, uh, comment, you know what I mean? Um, subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Tell your friends to subscribe too. Um, we have many different shows here in Flag TV. Um, if you need to reach us, you can reach us at flagtv2020 at gmail.com right there. If you want to be a guest of the show or if you just want to give us some money because you like us. We love you. Peace. Thank you. Peace. That's it. All right.